The Distance We've Come by Lachlan Tatum of St. Kitts, Nevis. There was a time, a long, long time ago, so long ago that there are people here who cannot recall, who simply can't remember, and long before some people seated in this room were even born, when education then was not designed to truly educate and make us people who were truly, truly great. Our education was just sufficient, only sufficient, deliberately sufficient, exclusively sufficient, excruciatingly sufficient, only for us when we are grown to work on the plantation and those were during the days of colonialism. Those were the days. Those were the ways of the British colonial system, when the education thrust was designed to prepare us to be either cutters of sugarcane or to be overseer on the sugar plantation. Yes, man, I tell you, man. And when a man was an overseer on one of those plantations, boy, that man was proud like a peacocksy. See him walking round with his books and papers and a bundle of keys in his hand, with his straw hat and sometimes with his cane in his hand like he is the owner of the plantation, forgetting, completely forgetting, that the owner of the plantation was a man in a faraway land called England, and that was all he and his children could ever ever, ever aspired to be. That was as high as he could ever dream to reach in his own born in land, an overseer on a plantation. But then, things began to change after the struggles and agitation of our leaders who sensed that we could be, that we ought to be, that we were smart enough to be, and that our children coming after us had the intellectual capacity to be more, much, much, much more than just overseers on a sugar plantation. Men like Fitzroy Bryant, our first minister of education, after whom the nation's college is named today, understood the vision of what we and what our children had the potential to be. Doctors, lawyers, engineers, architects, managers, fishermen, businessmen and women, head teachers, permanent secretaries of established ministries in their very own country, managing government business quite efficiently the distance we've come and these great men placed us well upon the way to what we have become today by teaching us to understand that the sugarcane plantation was far far below the extent of our capacity and now every single child in this federation has a chance an opportunity to be whatever in this land he wants to be. Whatever in this land she wants to be. No limit is placed on our children's capacity except the ones they place upon themselves. So now, my child, your child, their child, our child can go to become Anything in this fair land that he or she desires. Let us evaluate the distance we have come and forge ahead. Let us honor those who labored, both among the living and the dead. And let us not forget, but rather 
keep in mind that we must hold a brighter light for those who come behind. So when they see the work we've done, we'll stand proud to hear them plainly say, it is because of what they've done that we are who we are today. So let's celebrate new, new standards, standards, new opportunities, new, opportunities, new successes. successes.